Welcome back to Dolphins United, the platform for Dolphins. You heard me. Merry Christmas Eve to all the Dolphin fans out there. DU fam, what's up? What's shaking with you? It's the holiday season. Let's hope in this preview that I can predict correctly the Dolphins getting us a good Christmas present tomorrow with that W. All right. We need a W in the worst way possible. We have not this season lost four straight. We got Green Bay coming in our house. It's going to be about 60 degrees, 50 some, 60 some degrees. It's cold this morning. All right. It is. In, I'm in Orlando area. It's cold. All right. 32 degrees. So that's cold for us. Now, hey, wherever else y'all from, please put in the comment section what degree it is right now from where you're from. But from where I'm from, 32. And it get cold, like inside the house. You know what I'm saying? You got to put a hoodie on. So, or keep the hoodie on. I was out, but I'm back. So, to let me know, comment section, what degree it is, where you're from. Uh, you don't got to put the city and state if you don't want to, but you can just put the degree. Um, and I know some of y'all going to be in the negative, so uh, God bless y'all. But anyway, we got this game coming up. <clears throat> Aaron Rodgers is coming to town. With his crew, they've been a little hot, right? They've been, they've been winning a few games in a row, uh, trying to make the playoffs, trying to make the playoff push. They got a long shot to make it even if they win all the rest of their games. They need a good amount of things to fall into place. Namely, they need Detroit to start slipping too. So they got a long way to go. We control our destiny because even more so now, I should say, 78% chance of making it the playoffs. Because the Yets uh, lost on Thursday night. Helped us out tremendously, right? We went up from 72 to 78. If <clears throat> somehow we can win the next two games, we don't even need the Jets game to make it to the playoffs. But let me say this right now before we get into this preview. If we win the next two games and we lose to the Jets at our house, they shouldn't let us in. Whoever is behind us should leapfrog us just for the mere fact that we allowed ourselves to lose to the Jets, especially if they don't have Mike back there at quarterback. But even with Mike back there at quarterback, we better win that game. If we win the last two and we lose to the Jets, I ain't going to be happy about how we going into the playoffs. I'm just saying. All right? I'm just saying. But if we win the next two, we clinch. So I'd rather clinch. And then let the chips fall where they may, but we got to control, I mean, we control our own destiny. We just got to execute and actually get the wins because those are not going to be easy wins these last three games. And let's talk about why. Aaron Rodgers, right? Some will say he's the GOAT um, as a quarterback, all right, skill-wise. Not as a winner because we know that that Tom Brady is the GOAT of GOATs when it comes to quarterbacking and winning Super Bowls and and playoff games and being clutch. And Rodgers is clutch, but he's not as good of a winner. But he has way more to his game physically than Tom Brady has, right? Arm. He was the one that was throwing with these weird arm angles to start out. Now, Patrick Mahomes took that to a whole nother level. But Aaron Rodgers was the one that was, you know, he was rolling out to his left. And flicking it back across the field 60 yards. Like he was that dude doing that. And now Mahomes has taken it to a whole different level with no look passes and just crazy arm angles and stuff like that because of his ba baseball background. But Aaron Rodgers, got a, he's got a cannon. Um, only dude, I, I mean, the man, the man was, a, he, he was an absolute beast in his prime with like Hail Mary throws. And he was just, he was a monster. OK, he's an absolute beast. So you got him. You got their wide receivers. Watson at number nine. He ain't too bad. Not too shabby. You know, he, he, rookie, he's coming into his own, had a few drops early in the season, but he's starting to gain the trust of Aaron Rodgers. Then you got Aaron Jones, who's an absolute beast at running back. Dylan, who seems like he may be out. So not sure if he's going to be playing or not. 
But they got a few guys, right? On offense, offensive line, mm, so-so. Uh, letting up some sacks. So, you know, we, we, we have some things to worry about. And then we have some things we really don't have to worry about. We really don't. Because, like I said, offensive line, we should be able to have, we should be able to have a good day. Let's just put it like that. We should be able to have a good day when it comes to that. Uh, the running game is going to be a problem for us. Got to make sure that we're on top of our game because they can run the football pretty well. Uh, and the offensive line do create holes and things like that. And then if Dylan plays, boy, he's a load. All right. So we just got to make sure we stay on top of the running backs. And then we got to make sure we get to Aaron Rodgers. He's not the same guy. He's not as mobile as he used to be, but he's still pretty mobile. Uh, definitely even uh, on the same par as Tua right now, I would say, mobility-wise, at his age. All right? So he moves around. He's savvy. He can look at the defense and tell what's going to be, what's not going to be. Uh, the, the man is a savant. So we got to make sure that we're disguising as well as we can. And then don't be afraid to blitz, zero blitz him. Now, I understand. Zero blitz in Aaron, Aaron Rodgers, yes. I would zero blitz him because I'm just trying to speed up his clock. Yes, he's going to know where to go. I just want to speed up his clock and see if his mechanics can get messed up that way a little bit. And then rattle him. You, when you rattle those type of quarterbacks, um, it's a little bit better because they're a little older. They don't want to take too many hits. So then he starts going down on his own. That's what you want. All right. Easy sacks. Right. Where he feels a guy coming and he's going to go down because he doesn't want to hurt nothing. So, yeah, we'll do that. Zero blitz him. And then just make sure that we're being sound on defense. And then we give ourselves <clears throat> a good chance. Now, let's talk about their defense. Their defense has been suspect for the most of the, for most of the year. Let's just be honest. Right. Against the run, they're mm, against the pass. They're, mm, you know, it's just they do have Jair um, Alexander, who's an absolute beast. And we're going to have to, you know, do what we need to do to get some good reps against him. He's going to win some. <clears throat> we're going to win some. We're going to need Tua to ball out this game. Sorry, if you hear stuff in the background, by the way, I'm next to a window when I record this stuff, so, and then my mic. But anyway, Tua is going to need the ball out. Mistake-free football is what we're going to need from Tua. Don't be having no turnovers. Don't be fumbling uh, uh, um, um, the ball out of sacks and things like that. Sound football. Offensive line. Stop with the stupid penalties. Like, we're going to need to be on our A game on this game because even if you're up 14-0 on Aaron Rodgers, it's Aaron Rodgers. He can come back, all right? Discount double check can come back on you. That's not going to be a problem for him, so we got to be on our P's and Q's. Uh, we got to, if we get a lead, we got to push that lead as far as we can go, right? This is the game where you try to be a little bit aggressive because you're not trying to play not to lose. You're trying to play to win. And against Aaron Rodgers, you better play to win because if you give him a little, he's going to take a lot. So we got to be on our P's and Q's. I know some people are probably looking at me like, dude, like we're going to blow them out. What are you talking about? Bro, you got to learn to expect, respect your opponent, okay? This opponent here is not to be played with. We take them likely, then we're likely to lose, okay? We cannot take this team likely at all. Got to play sound football in this game. No mistakes. And then we win this game. All right, it, it's not rocket science. We're a better team on paper than them. Quarterback, they got us beat. Pretty much everywhere else on the roster, we got them beat. Pretty much, right? When healthy. And we're not healthy. So, but anyway, our, you know, our defense is going to, they, they, they're going to have to play their best game. If we play our best game on defense, I, I could see us holding them to 20 or less points. We just got to get like 24. And then we win the game and then we move on, right? So this is the type of game, if we play mistake-free football, if we do what we need to do on defense, get some um, third down stops, you know, get some third down conversions on offense, keep the offense on the field, keep their offense off the field, we win this game. I got us scoring 27-20 in this game. We win this game going away. They get a couple field goals. Uh, we get a couple field goals and some touchdowns. We get up out of there. All right. We win this game. We move on to the Patriots at Day House, which it may be snowing in that game. That's going to be a toughie. But we're going to have to, you know, 
you know, work that out. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Let's worry about the Packers first. It ain't going to be an easy game. It's going to be a tough one. I'll drag them out. Hopefully we can just get up out of there, move on with minimal injuries because this is crunch time now. We need to win these games to, uh, to get into the playoffs and to seal our playoff fate. I'll holler at y'all. Y'all already know what to do in the comment section. Please put your predictions below and then we'll talk about it. See y'all in the next one. Fins up till we die. I am out. Oh,